Hey, what's good, fam? Not sure if I'm live yet. I'm using kind of a new software. That's why it took me a little while to set this up. I thought it was going to be quick and easy because I've used it before. I mean, it's technically not new, but they did some new updates. So that's why it's a little bit new. But got a couple people here in the comments have been uh, very busy, haven't been able to go live, make videos in a little while. Um, I got Tasha here, Bo, Sue, Neo TV, Evie. Uh, let me know if you can hear me because I'm using a wireless mic. Hear me, see if you can hear this tap. All right, hopefully no one's wearing headphones and that kind of messed up their headphones. But am I live? Let me know because I was supposed to be live like 10 minutes ago and did have some issues. Okay, I am live. Hey, what's up, Susanna? Zach? Crazy. Uh, appreciate your patience. I was supposed to be live like, I don't know, I think it was like five, ten minutes ago. And yeah, like I said, I was having some issues. But we do have to talk. Um, it is it is kind of bad, but I do have some good news. So I don't want you to think I'm always like going to be sharing bad news with you because, you know, hey, as humans, we do have our ups. We do have our downs. I've sure had a whole lot of downs lately, but I do have some ups too. So, I mean, I'm just like everybody, I'm just like you, we have our ups and downs, but um, Virginia, hey, what's up, Wilfred? what's up, Michael, what's up, Al above. So if you watched my last video, I think it was my last video or maybe my video before my last one, a lot of you know that, you know, I have a farm and I have livestock guardian dogs and my dog Gracie and my dog Dak accidentally had some babies and the reason i say accidentally is because in our area here there is a shortage of vets that can fix your dogs and we've been on a waiting list so um we should have probably separated them but it's hard to separate these great pyrenees dogs they love to jump over fences i mean i have like an electrical line across the whole property because they will jump over your fence and travel for miles that's just what they do so they had puppies and then we figured, okay, well, it's healthy for them to have puppies. It's okay. We're going to get them fixed after. And we are doing that. We're getting them fixed. I think we have an appointment in like a week or maybe two weeks. And we've had this appointment for a while. Diane, thank you for becoming a new member. And also David, thank you so, so much. So anyways, um, I mentioned in my video that I was going to be finding them new homes. This is like when they were first born or not far from it. It's been a little while since I've logged. And I mean, I had a lot of backlash. Oh, you're a backyard breeder. I'm not a backyard breeder. Okay. I keep all my animals, but I figured, Hey, it's going to be kind of hard having five dogs. But then I thought against it and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep my puppies. I'm going to keep them. And that's what we've been doing. We've been keeping them. They're about three months old now. And they're having the time of their lives here with their parents at the Safe Haven Ranch. I am going to do a live stream after this one. And I'm going to show you the farm. I know it's been a little while since I've been out there and, and vlogged because I've been traveling so much. And we'll talk about that a little bit more here too. So after doing, uh, actually after our vet appointment recently where we took Gracie in to have like, have her checked and make sure she's okay to be fixed or a spade is what they say. We did talk to them about possibly keeping our puppies, our livestock guardian puppies. And we have names for them. We got Travis, Taylor, and Patrick. And at first we were even gonna consider maybe just keeping one at least. And we were gonna keep Patrick. Patrick is, I mean, they're all our babies, but Patrick is just, he looks like his daddy and he favors Dak a lot. Uh, but he's, he's a, they're all great dogs, okay? so. All right, let me get to the meat and, and, and potatoes on this, okay? Uh, and thank you again, Crystal, for becoming a member. So we tell the vet how we're going to keep these puppies and we're possibly going to set up appointments to have them fixed. And the vet was like, no, no, no. You're not supposed to keep these, this litter, especially with livestock guardian dogs. Now, if you had them as indoor dogs, different story, but they are protecting livestock. They're working dogs. That's what they're doing. And yes, they are our pets, but I mainly got these dogs to protect our other animals and of course be pets as well, but to protect, that's what they're bred to do. If you look up Great Pyrenees, that is their strength. They love guarding livestock. And there's Daisy, by the way. What are you doing, Daisy? You wanna go outside? 
Anywho, there is dangers, and we've heard about this before, but we kind of, you know, we we kind of turned a blind eye to it, but there's this thing called litter pack syndrome, where your puppies can, like, develop this close bond where they'll start becoming aggressive, and it can, it can be bad even against the parents, Dak and Gracie. So we figured, okay, well, litter pack syndrome, you can beat that with giving them a lot of love, a lot of attention, and we do that. We're outside every single day with the puppies. They love us. They're so friendly. They're so loving, and it breaks my heart that we have to possibly find them a home. And that's what, that's what makes this bad is that, um, I talked to a local farmer, a friend of mine, and they told me this story and this broke my heart. They also have a great Pyrenees, or I think it was like an uncle of theirs that has great Pyrenees and they had puppies and they were doing the same thing. They were warned by their vet not to keep the puppies. And maybe this will help anybody who has livestock guardian dogs and it, it'll teach you a lesson. Okay. Cause, um, you're supposed to get rid of the litter, okay? Not, not. I'm not saying discard them, sell them or anything like that. Find them homes, happy homes, because that's how they thrive and that's how they, they survive and they're happy. So this uncle of my farmer friend, buddy, said that they had a great Pyrenees puppy and of course their livestock guardians that had this puppy and they kept the puppy and a nine-year-old kid I think he was nine maybe he was eight years old came over and he was petting the puppy the parent of this puppy mauled this little boy and this happened locally and this is the problem and this is the what the vet shared with us that it could be potential dangers so it, if we keep these puppies our livestock guardian dogs not only are they not going to be doing their job protecting the goats the chickens the pigs the cows the llama they're going to be always concerned, even as adults for the puppies, even even as the puppies grow, they're always going to be concerned and putting their puppies first. Actually, it's already happened. I've already seen it where my dog Dak, the, the male, he'll go and attack like the other animals, like for no reason, just because they got close. And it's it's bad for the development of the puppies. They never get to grow and they always depending on the parents. So they never themselves become what they're bred to do, be other livestock guardian dogs. So yes, really sad. I'm, I feel really bad for that little boy where that happened, but that kind of opened my eyes to this. And I, I don't want anybody coming to my farm and because maybe the parents of my puppies feel like their puppies are being threatened, they go and like hurt somebody, possibly kill somebody. Like these dogs will die for their flock and for whatever animal they're protecting. So. Like I said, there is good news to this. Um, I did put an ad in my newspaper, and I'm not selling my dogs, okay? I, I'm not selling them. I'm not a backyard breeder. It's not what I do. I would. It's not about money to me. I want to make sure that my puppies that we love so much that we were going to keep forever, I want to make sure they're going to be somewhere where it's close, where we could go visit them whenever, do a play date, and they're going to be either indoors or outside doing the same thing, what they're bred to do without any problems and they're safe. The owner that's going to take care of them has money for vet bills, heartworm medicine, things like that. And I've potentially found a few people. I do got somebody coming over in about an hour and uh, they're going to be possibly taking my, one of my favorite puppies, Patrick. I mean, he just, he looks just like Dak and he's, they're all my favorite, but like he was, he was the one that we were going to keep because he's just so sweet. He like follows you around everywhere. And anyways, um, I'm going to get to some of the comments here because I have no idea if somebody has been like, oh, you're so you're such a bad person for doing this. Because I did get I did get quite a few comments like, oh, you're, you're a backyard breeder. And I'm, I'm not a back. I'm so get Look, OK, proof that I'm not a backyard breeder. Hey, Daisy, Daisy, I got her as a rescue. She came with hey, not Luna, not you. Daisy, come here, Daisy, come here. Okay, Daisy is a rescue. I'm all about rescuing dogs. I got her for free with health problems, but I'm able to care for her and give her the love and attention she needs. Not saying that the owner that had her before couldn't, 
but they didn't have the money to take her to the vet. And she has this condition called megasophagus where her trachea or her esophagus is very enlarged. So anything she eats just gets thrown up. And she was like 20 pounds when I got her. She was very, very light. You can see that she's gained a lot of weight. I had to make her a special high chair just so then she can sit upright. That's how she has to eat at a 90 degree angle. And I would have I would have not known this had I not taken her to the vet. And now she's great. She doesn't throw up anymore. She She's excelling. She's gained weight. As you can see, she's very happy. So, I mean, I'm all about rescuing dogs. I don't I don't like to buy dogs. I, I like mutt dogs. I mean, I just so happened to get her. She was a pure, well, uh, golden doodles aren't really purebred, but, you know, it is what it is. They are still like a popular breed, but, you know, I am not a backyard breeder. Just trying to say that, all right? I don't care if somebody doesn't believe me or whatever. Hi, Rebecca. Safety first with the dogs. Yes. Uh, my boy, Glenn. What's up, man? Haven't seen you. So anyways, I want to show you some pictures here, okay? Uh, let me see if I can do this. Um, this is what I was trying to figure out. All right, bam. So this, I don't know if you can see that, but that is Gracie. That's the mama. That's Dak. I'm going to show you them here in a second. And thank you so much, Sammy Bowen. Hey, Omar, I've, have you ever had other people say weird things that happening in their homes? Yes. After watching some of our like scary videos, it does happen. Uh, some people say their lights start flickering. And yeah, I've had that, I've had that comment over the years a lot. Um, AR Paranormal, my two Husky Wolf turned into 13 and didn't want to get rid of any of them. Oh, wait, they had 13, a litter of 13. But when we moved to Florida from Tennessee, we had no choice. Now they protect farms in Tennessee, but they look like wolves. Dude, that's badass. I've always wanted like those like wolf looking dogs. But yeah, these are these are the puppies. You can see they're so freaking cute. This is Patrick right here. That's that's my little baby right there. And he's going to be leaving today in like an hour. Um, Actually, I got to see if I got a text back. And uh, I did put like in my ad, I'm like, there's going to be a small fee. And when people ask what the fee is, I did tell them a price. But then after they agreed to the price, I was like, okay, just kidding. I'm not charging for them. They're going to be free. The reason why I did that is because I can't just give away my dogs for free and not know that somebody doesn't have the money to care for them, take them to the vet, heartworm medicine, flea preventative, things like that, okay? I'm not trying to say, like, I just, I would much rather give a dog, one of my puppies, to a really good home, 100% free if I know that they're going to be cared for, okay? It's not about money to me. It's about their their future and them being cared for, okay? But dogs do require some money i mean my dogs you know they got to go to the vet if i didn't take her to the vet i wouldn't have known that she had this crazy health condition you know so yeah you can't just expect to get a dog for free and just not be able to care it, it costs money okay just like with having kids it costs money like kids are expensive and they got to go to the doctor and stuff too and they got to eat you know so and they need their vaccines screening process to ensure a good home you're good cool yeah i would take them if i could so true so i have a lady also she's coming in a couple of days she has like eight boston terriers and she had a german shepherd recently that passed away and this german shepherd would kind of look after her her dogs her boston terriers i think that's what she said she has I, I could be wrong they're like little terrier dogs or maybe they're um English Bulldog. I don't, I don't freaking know. I'm going to find out, though, because she's supposed to be sending me some pictures. Anyways, her dog died, and she was like, so, you know, how much is your great Pyrenees going to be? I'm like, look, 100% free. If you're local, that's great, because I want to be able to come and see him or her anytime I want and have a relationship and, and make sure that they're safe, of course. Well, this lady, she has three acres. She's going to be taking Taylor, which is my female. She's very, very smart, very loving. She's got this cute little nose. Let me see if I can get a picture of Taylor. Um, Taylor is, uh, I believe this one's Taylor. This is Travis, and this is Patrick. I mean, they're all so close. Let me see if I got another picture. Um, no, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's Taylor over there. But um, she wants her, like, inside. She's going to be like an inside dog, and... 
she'll be close by. So I'm excited about that. Travis, I believe, is going to be local too. I'm waiting for them. They sent me a message earlier today. Um, I'm waiting to hear back. But they sent me this picture of... I, I don't know what kind of dogs these are. They're called ben Sen, ben, ben Senjis. Ben Senjis. I don't know. Have y'all ever heard of a dog like that? Ben Senji? I don't know if I'm saying that right. But they have three acres or four acres or something like that locally. And that's their other Great Pyrenees. So, but they're getting old. He has two other Great Pyrenees. Or he, she, he or she, I don't know. Um, but they have two Great Pyrenees. But they're getting old. And they want to have another one that's a little bit younger and to be trained by the older ones so then they can start guarding the small dogs because that's what they do. But anyways, yes, I'm giving these dogs to really good homes. Let Daisy out. Is Daisy want to come out? All right, I guess she doesn't. Then Senji's don't bark. You want to go outside? Do you want to get some water? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You want to go outside? All right, very good. All right, thanks for the... The message is here to let Daisy out. I think she was wanting to get out of here. Uh, thank you so much for the super chats here. Samantha, we know your heart. The internet can be toxic. Yeah, very. Yo, check this out. I had somebody message me that saw my ad, and they said that they were going to report me to the authorities for backyard breeding. I'm like, dude, I'm not backyard breeding. Like, I had puppies. I'm just trying to find them a good home. Like, Gosh, I don't want anything bad to happen to them. And I don't want anything bad to happen to our other animals here, too. So, Samantha, thank you so much for that. Lisa, thank you for becoming a new member. I wish I could have one of your puppies. Hey, thanks. And you know what's sad is, like, uh, like it was so cute seeing them, like, grow on the farm. And we've had them for, it's been three months. They're born November 17th. So, yeah, they're about, yeah, they're about three months old. But I mean, just seeing them grow and they're so big. I can't wait to show you what they look like now. I mean, from the last video, I mean, they went from like this to like, they're huge. They're big dogs. I mean, they grow so big. Their paws are really big. But I mean, I, I, we're not going to do this again because we're having the dogs fixed and that's okay. You know what I mean? I'm, I, you should spay and neuter your dogs if possible, but it is cool seeing the circle of life. And we thought to ourselves, Hey, if they do have puppies, we can keep them, you know, they can grow here on the farm at the Safe Haven Ranch, and it'd be fun, you know, so, oh, man, tough crowd, tough crowd, Monica, hey, from Italy, that's what's up, I want to go to Italy, Mark said, there's nothing wrong uh, with back, back your, your breathing, <laughs> I, I know what you meant, it's when you get to kennels that are breeding, yes, and then your dog gets sick because of kennel cough. I mean, here's the thing too. If we didn't have breeders, and I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm, you know, 100% um, against breeding, and you should never buy a dog from a breeder. I mean, if you need to have a dog, for example, I had to purchase my Great Pyrenees dogs. I did look for, you know, if somebody was trying to give one away first. You know, I did go that route 100% because you can get a free for free too. And sometimes these dogs. They come with, you know, their shots and stuff. It's a lot easier on your wallet. So that's a good option. However, I couldn't find it. And we had to go and get puppies that were, because Great Pyrenees, they're meant, they're bred specifically for guarding, you know, your livestock. And that's, I mean, if there weren't any breeders, you wouldn't have that. However, where I got my dogs from, like Dak came from Miami from like a home where there was a, you know, mom and dad on the premises and, you know, that was cool. And Gracie came from a farm. It wasn't a backyard breeding operation. Like, they weren't in kennels or anything. So, you know, yeah, I would never buy from somebody that's just selling on the side of the road or from, like, a kennel. Like, that's kind of disgusting to me. But uh, anyways, now here's some really good news. And I'm going to show you this in a little bit. Let me... Sh oh, my God. So, my, my goat, I don't know if you know, her name is Louise... And yes, I am keeping these guys, okay? They're not for sale, not for Sally, okay? She was very, very pregnant. Look how big she was. And she was impregnated by my other goat named Tommy. Tom, yeah, well, his name's Tom. Tommy, we call him Tommy, but it's Tom Brady, all right? And she yesterday had little babies. 
love baby goats look at that i don't know if this is a good picture but look how cute they are they need some names i'm not sure what their names are going to be but yes we have little baby goats my other goat thelma she's my more friendlier goat she's also pregnant but it's going to be like i don't know maybe a couple days i know they're like really close in the whole pregnancy thing okay so yes i'm going to be doing a live stream following this one and i'm going to show you the baby goats i'm going to show you the puppies it's going to be kind of like a goodbye to my puppies which i'm i'm really sad about at least two of them i think two of them are leaving today my two boys and then i'll have taylor probably for a couple days um the lady that's supposed to be taking her is like because she has a bunch of dogs and they're doing the whole puppy bowl thing and she was like no this is like a, a strict ritual that we do every super bowl we have the you know the whole puppy bowl thing and i i cook snacks for them and she's gonna get spoiled so bad taylor uh, yeah if you didn't know i have travis taylor and patrick and they happen to be chiefs i i'm not a chiefs fan okay it's just thought it was funny and i thought it was great and it fits their little personalities just right but yep that is a that's my little baby goat and here's another picture of them i wish i had more i think oh here's another picture one was like moving but oh check this out too um dak jumps over the fence while these babies are being born dak is my livestock guardian dog and he starts attacking the mama goat because she thinks he thinks that she's attacking these little babies and you know so he's confused because of the puppies this is another reason i have to find the puppies a new home they are very protective over like everything and they're attacking my other animals and i have heard about this and i don't want it to get any worse it's really causing problems with how they do their job and these are working dogs they need to they need to be put to work that's how they love their life and that's how they love being outside like that's it's their thing it's what they're bred to do they're still our pets but that's how they that's how they have this long beautiful life as a livestock guardian dog um i almost felt bad when i first got them like we gotta leave these guys outside like no i i've never left a dog outside but they love being outside and if you have the breed you'll understand that they're they're meant to be like outdoor dogs um omar how much are you asking for the pups they're not for sale i'm not i wasn't selling them they're actually 100 percent free to a good home so i mean if somebody doesn't get one of the puppies i will maybe put it on here you can shoot me an email i'm not I'm not selling them i would much rather them be in the state of florida if you're in the state of florida and you want to inquire i i'd like to keep them here because i want to be able to visit them because they're family to me i wanted to see them grow up and i want to see how happy they are and in the rare case scenario that whoever i give them to isn't able to care for them i want them back and I should probably do a contract on something like that because I don't want them to end up on like a website or end up worse in a, a kennel like, uh, what are they called? I don't know, Humane Society, just a, a kill shelter, a dog shelter. Like I don't want them to end up there. I'd rather them come back to me and then maybe I could find them a future home or maybe at that point I'll just keep them as an indoor dog with my other dogs because it's just meant to be that way and i did consider that as well but i figured it'd be a bad idea with having the livestock guardian dogs so close yeah puppy mill um i do want them to be fixed too hey mel hi omar all the way from australia your puppies are so cute you have to do what's safe for your family if you have to give them a new home don't listen to the haters do what's best and yes it's it trust me it breaks my heart because i wanted it i want to keep these puppies and I want to keep them forever. I just I just love them. If I could honestly trade them for, I mean, I, not that I would trade them, but like I like I would have a, a, I'd have other puppies. You know what I mean? Like, but they can't be from the same litter. They can't be from the same flock. They can't be of the parents because then the parents are gonna want to just they're just gonna want to guard them and not the other animals, and they're gonna attack every other animal that's close by. It's already happened, and uh, I'm not in a bad way, but I mean, I did see Dak jump on my cow and i mean he was like pissed because the cow was like close to the puppies so we can't we can't have that we can't have the other animals at risk because we have puppies so 
Let me see here. Yes, it, I was more set. Well, investigate who would like to adopt one. Check them out. All God's animals are a blessing. Yes, I agree. So, yes, that is pretty much the bad news that I have to find my puppies a new home. And I technically kind of already have. And it's been probably one of the hardest things ever because you're, you know, especially when you have that mindset, like these are our babies and we're going to keep them and they're ours forever. And the vet tells you, no, you can't do that. And then, of course, you hear from your friend, hey, like I just watched a boy get mauled almost to death. And actually, they had to put this dog down. And I mean, that's that'd be heartbreaking for me. Like if Dak or Gracie attack somebody and I had to kill one of them like that would that would be probably the worst scenario I mean and somebody getting hurt on my farm or possibly like dying like I just I would much rather shoot down those risks at all and and just keep them far far away from even I mean even though it's it maybe it wouldn't happen but I just can't take that risk you know so I mean what would you do what what would you do I mean especially if you're vet and so many people like told you i mean it to me it like kind of doesn't make sense it's like you know what like you know they're puppies and they're happy and you know dak and gracie are they're great you know uh the omar gosh vlogs when's the next video from this channel and omar gosh tv nikki said i plan i'm actually working on a video we went to key west recently and we filmed a, a little bit but me and James did a another Robert the Doll video, and something really strange happened there. Went to the East uh, Fort East Martello Museum, and then we also did a. And this is going to be so good for those of you who are like into the whole extraterrestrial and like alien life and UFO stuff. I have on video the very the very same night where that whole Miami stuff was happening. Somebody recorded something in Key West happening in the sky. And I have that on video. It's never been seen on social media, ever. And we kind of did, like, some stargazing. It was fun. We we did some, like, paranormal investigating on this area. Talked to aliens. I don't know if we talked to aliens, but we talked to something. And it was, it was pretty freaking cool. So that's another future video. I'm not sure when I'll have time to edit that. But doing my best. Kind of a one-man show here. And we did a lot of traveling. Now it's time to be home and edit. Elizabeth, thank you. Appreciate it. Omar, make sure, what does that say? Make sure that Dak or Gracie doesn't attack the people coming to buy. Make sure that Dak, okay, yes. And they're not buying the puppies. I'm not selling my puppies. We're giving them away for free. Hopefully, when I am live, maybe they show up because they're, I think they're supposed to come at three o'clock. It's 2.34 right now. So, You'll get to meet them firsthand. Maybe y'all could tell me if you're, maybe you're not feeling them. This is, a, it's a single mom. She has a couple of children and she, I think she had a great Pyrenees before that passed away and she's looking for, you know, just like a, like a watchdog to be in the house with the kids. Great Pyrenees, fantastic dogs with children and they're, they're very good watchdogs. They're, they're good indoor or outdoor dogs. They do love being outside. However, if they're unattended and you got them outside and you don't have, the correct like fencing like I got, some electric wires, they will jump over your eight foot fence and just go for miles. Like that's just, they like to explore. They're very adventurous dogs. So you have to give them attention and you have to show them. Um, show us Omar, okay. Okay, I will, I will show you. I think you wanna see the farm. Keep up your video, Omar. I love watching them. You're like family to me. Hey, Kenji, you're like family to me too. That's why I call you fam. Thule, love you, Tiff and the fam, Omar. Thank you guys for all the sweet comments and all the love here. Uh, R. Aricio, hello. Hello to you too. Can you come me at my home? I'm from Plant City, Florida. Plant City, Florida. Hey, that's nice. That's where the strawberry festival is and that's coming up very soon but anyways look i'm gonna jump off here i'm gonna go live from the farm be there or be square so i'm gonna go ahead and end this but be on the lookout i mean literally probably like in 10 minutes i'm gonna be going live again on the farm i'm gonna show you the puppies and i'm gonna show you some new baby goats
all right hey thank you for being here with me and i will we'll be posting some regular videos but i figured hey let's just jump on a live stream here i don't have to edit anything we can talk and i can share you you know some kind of bad news but good news too at the same time love you so much fam peace